welcome back to another preview here in the channel sorry for getting it very very late uh i really lost track of time oh yeah I, I was busy with a lot of things but better late than it never so preview ravens bills first big test of the season here playing a juggernaut bills team an angry bills team coming off a heartbreaking loss against the miami dolphins the ravens though Came in angry against the Pats and uh, are now coming off a win in Foxborough. So, uh, wait a sec. I'm going to replace my, I'm going to have to place my mic again. Okay, good. So, so here's how it works. I normally go through both team stats on offense and defense. And then I say what you need to do to beat the Bills, what the Ravens need to do to beat the Bills. And then I'm going to have my score prediction, and that's for the preview. So if you're new, subscribe. Uh, I'm doing these every week this season. Uh, if, if, if everything goes right in a perfect world, I'm going to have these 17 previews, 17 reactions. All going to be good. So, hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it so first things first on offense on offense both offenses are very high powered uh as you see here the bills are first in passing we're 14th uh the bills are 15th in rushing and we're eighth so uh, again here we're really good in at uh well the thing is your passing has been very efficient 14th you'd be surprised but that's off of yards rushing eight you'd be very very surprised uh our, our passing dvoa and our rushing dvoa are completely 180 uh, we're like top three at it in passing and like bottom five rushing uh, our run game is all Lamar. Uh, uh, we did see a little bit. We did see a little bit. Hold on, my mic fell off. Uh, let me place it again. Hold on. All right. Good. So, hold on. All right. We're, we're good for now. So, like I was saying, we really haven't seen much of our running backs or like at all this season. Uh, we did see last week a little bit, like Justice Hill had a good game. Uh, Do Dobbins came back last game and it was pretty surprising to see him move the way he was moving. Like I said in the, in the reaction, in, in the post-game recap of the Patriots game, everything he was giving in this game alone was a bonus because he was just coming back off of just completely destroying his his leg just an ab absolutely demolished leg and he really didn't look bad he didn't look bad at all so that's good to see uh he didn't like have a super productive game but it was fine honestly uh passing efficient pass game efficient and and as you see of the bills they get a lot of yards they pass the ball like every play basically they do not like running the ball and just like us their run game is their quarterback josh allen uh yeah so we're pretty much identical in in, in, in that uh, in that department scoring again like i said in the beginning high powered so you would expect a high scoring game but honestly i it's, it's going to be a high scoring game if we lose all right the thing is if it's close I think we win the game. I think we win the game when it's close. Because the Bills have 
in the in the past. The Bills have either blown out opponents or lost off a nail biter. So we can take advantage of that. So defensively, defensively, that's when the Bills, in terms of yards, have a lot uh, of advantage. They they have a huge advantage against us in terms of uh, yards defensively. But turnovers, turnovers, we've been forcing turnovers. So again, our defense is, has not been burnt. Like, we've been able to make plays. So this is what you pretty much ask. We've been able to make plays in 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 every game. So we had two turnovers. We forced two turno uh, turnovers week one. Week two, we forced... We, we forced two again, I think, right? Uh, yeah, we forced two again. Week three, we forced four turnovers against Mac Jones. So we have been forcing turnovers left, right, and center. Uh, uh, that's a... You know, a... A positive off of that defense but in terms of yards and points not looking good not not looking good at all uh the bills on the other hand are looking really really good in terms of yards and 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 they don't give up a lot of points either but if we're able to force turnovers it could make up for that but yeah let's get right into the next segment so here we are in the keys to beating the Bills. So let's start with offense. First off, first thing we need to do is to take advantage of this Bills secondary. Why? You might think. <clears throat> because they have a lot of injuries. When healthy, uh, they have one of the best secondaries in the league. But they are injured to hell. And it, it's very rare to see a team more injured than us in the past in in recent memory very very hard to see. It, it it's it's very rare but uh yeah it, it's really rare that we're not in the in the wrong side of, uh, of things like these but that's besides the point so micah hyde is on ir i think he's uh correct me if i'm wrong but i think he's out for the season uh, Jordan Poyer is questionable, so he could he could play, could not play. Uh, but you know, it, if he's playing, that he you have something in him that won't be right. He won't be a hundred percent. You have Trey White, a lead corner, uh, Trey White who hasn't come back yet, so that's another piece that's gone. Uh. And Xavier Rhodes, who just came on the team, they just recently signed him. He already got hurt. And he's on IR too. So what we need to do in the past game, take advantage of that. Because, uh, because they're going to have their rookie corners, they're going to have their unexperienced corners, practice squad corners. Uh, they shouldn't be holding up at all. They should not. So if if a guy like Bateman doesn't have a big get, a, a big day, uh, I'm gonna be disappointed. Bateman has had a down game last week, so I, so I expect him to bounce back, big time. So you should be able you should be able to pass the ball on this secondary because it, it it's it's completely completely crippled. Uh, so that's pretty much what I expect. So the thing is too, the thing is before I get into the protecting Lamar, uh, we need to win time of possession here. Time of possession is going to be very important. The thing is though, it's, it's not going to be that bad, but it's, it's, it's going to be raining. 
it might be on our side if we're able to run the ball even a little bit on that Bills team. You know, again, their team, their team is still injured. Ed Oliver is questionable and Jordan Phillips is out. So you're, you're going to have uh, AJ Epineza, Greg Russo, who's been, who's been good. He's been good. Uh, who else? I'm, I'm sure, I'm very sure they're losing some somebody else too. Like they have somebody else out. Hold on. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, okay. So it, it's pretty much that. Uh, Ed, Ed Oliver is, is uh, questionable and Jordan Phillips. Yeah, uh, for, for a second I thought they had more losses on that line. But it, it should be... It, it should be a little bit wide open, that run game. Uh, so... Yeah, Dobbins... Dobbins, um, Mike Davis, and Justice Hill, uh, you're going to need to, you know, have have a little bit of, of a game here, okay? Like, play decent offensive line, have some push as well, because that, that run blocking has been horrid. And also, another thing too, like... The builds on defense, they're not going to be able to pass the ball as much as they like to. They, they, they had like 70 dropbacks last week alone. Uh, this, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen at all because with the rain, uh... Honestly, I think they're going to throw a little bit less. Like, not that, you know, like, they're not going to completely tone down the the amount of passes. Like, Josh Allen has a strong arm, so he's going to be able to still work it out. But it's not going to be easy. So, it's, it, it's going to affect the, their game plan a little bit in, in that department. So, and and their run game has been horrible. Uh, it's, it's Josh Allen. And, and that's it. It's pretty much Josh Allen. Uh, so, that's been pretty much here. And the last thing on offense, protect Lamar. Von Miller has been, he, he's a guy, we're pretty familiar with him. At, a lot of teams are. Uh, Greg Russo, he's been stepping up as a young player. He's been stepping up. So, the, you know, the, the pass blocking needs to actually be there continue being okay and even get better and honestly uh stanley might come back uh i i heavily doubt it it's in the rain he, he's coming off an ankle injury uh i think he's sitting that one out daniel Filele, he's been playing he, he played good he played good after the first half last game so you, you hope he's going to continue, and, and and he's a right tackle playing left tackle, transitioning to left tackle, going from left tackle to right tackle is a hundred times easier than vice versa. So he's making a very very hard transition, and it showed it showed for a while, but then after that it, he completely it, it he he completely got it. So. So, you know, hopefully he continues on that. Uh, let's go to defense here.
pass rush, of course, you're gonna need to step up. Uh, I'm I'm really tired of not uh, of not seeing pressure. Okay, after week one, I don't know what the hell happened with that. Oh wait, you need to step up. JPP is going to need, a lot of pressure is going to be on him because Justin Houston is listed doubtful. So uh, this is not gonna look. Again, we're gonna be running for another game. Three, two pass rushers instead of two, instead of three. So you know, yeah, yeah. Justin Houston, he has a groin injury. They're tricky, so I think he sits that one out. He sits that one out, or he's on pitch count. Uh, that's pretty much it for him. But he, you know, he's not, he's not gonna be getting like quality playing time that game, even if he plays. So, Josh Allen, we're going to need to see him get disrupted. Absolutely disrupted. Please, pass rush, show up. Secondary, we cannot let Diggs, uh, Stephon Diggs get loose. Uh, you know, he's, he's been playing like a top receiver, of course. He's, he's angry. He's angry. Again, he's another game-changing wide receiver. Uh, so yeah, our second year has a big test, another big test here. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how McDonald plays Diggs. And, you know, what I would do, have Humphrey follow him everywhere. And for God's sakes, I do not want to see these stupid ass matchups where you have a rookie against the team's best receiver. Devontae Parker against Jalen Armour Davis. Completely cooked him. But then the second Humphrey got on him, he was locked. He was completely put to jail. And, and then Humphrey even had a pick. So come on. Humphrey, he's been elite. He's been elite this year. So have him follow Diggs everywhere on the field. And, uh, you know, safety over top. Uh, and again, you know, uh, I, I'd rather have like a Gabe Davis or that McKenzie guy beat us over Diggs because these guys are not going to change the game as much as Diggs will. So with that, they're going to try and find other ways to beat us. And with the run game, they're not going to beat us because they don't have a one, two punch. The running backs have been underperforming. It, it, it's, it's not like last week where there was Damon Harris and Ramondre Stevenson. It, it, it's, it's really not like that. So, you know. And with that, take Dix completely out of the game. But again, if you're not Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters, uh, the corners are going to need to step up. All right. Uh, Jalen Armour Davis, uh, I get you're a rookie, but man, we need to see some, some more flashes. Uh, you, you know, I, I hope you learn from getting benched last last week too. Uh, Pepe, uh, he's been it's been quiet, but I, honestly, it's a good thing. It's, it's a good thing he, he's been quiet because again, if nothing is said about you. That means you're pretty much not allowing, you're really not getting targeted or anything. So, uh, he's good. Uh, but yeah, uh, you're going to have Brendan Steffens. He's just going to need to get, you know, to up the tempo a little bit. You know, uh, you need to see a little bit more. But yeah, man. Uh Safeties wise, we, we've seen Kyle Hamilton last week. He had a game ceiling turnover. So that's a flash from the rookie we picked very high. So you'll love to see it. Again, it's it, it's pretty much as advertised. So yeah, man. So we're gonna go score prediction here. Uh honestly, man. Uh, I have a feeling the Bills win that in this game. 
And it, it honestly, if, if, if this is any game they're gonna win that's close, it's pretty much gonna be this one. All right. Well, you know, uh, 35 to 32, the score is what I have for this game. Honestly, uh, I, I would love to be wrong. And uh, I have that gut feeling that I will, but I'm going to go with the Bills pick. They're coming off angry again. Uh, I'm going to be disappointed if we lose, though. I'm still going to be disappointed because we could have started off 3-0. 2-2. and uh, two and two. Going to play the Bengals after that. We're also 2-2. Two and two. To me, that is a bit shaky. But that, that's the reality of things. We should be 3-0 and right now. But uh, one quarter. But yeah, man. I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me, guys, how you feel about the game. And uh, your thoughts down below. Subscribe, like, click the bell to enable notifications. Uh, I'm going to have more of those. And I'll see you guys in the post-game recap.